Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Netuk Arts. Today, album review, a reggae great that perhaps you haven't heard of, and somebody certainly that I didn't hear a lot about. He's not one of the big names in radio like Marley or Tosh, something like that. But the man has earned respect in reggae circles, and I love his stuff. Here we are, reggae great Linton Quasi Johnson. Heard of him? If not, get his stuff. If you like the roots rhythm, if you like old school style reggae, uh, dub style, and he's particularly unique because he's got that heavy roots Rastaman rhythm, but his singing is very much like straight up spoken poetry. He's actually a poet. He's a writer and a poet. Uh, with a uh, deep consciousness, speaking about becoming aware uh, and um, political concerns and uh, pushing back against the status quo. Um, think Gil Scott Heron on dub. That's a little bit of what Linton Crazy Johnson is and does. He was born in Jamaica as a kid. His mother and him and he, his mother and himself, moved to uh, England. And so he grew up in England and became politically aware, was always kind of a writer, became very aware of like what was happening in race relations in England in the late 70s and the 80s very much around the time that The Clash was also writing about race. Ska bands were making music about race. And Linton LKJ was uh, making these songs with uh, poetry backed by heavy rhythm dub. A very nice style. I love it. Let me tell you. This album, this album in particular, Reggae Greats, is actually from a series that they ran of Reggae Greats, compilation of singles pulled from albums. And so this is his, this is his compilation. And it's got really good stuff. Uh, a couple of my very favorite songs. I grabbed this because it had my two favorite uh, LKJ songs on it. Um... Street 66 and Sonny's Letter. Uh, but right from side one, it opens up, you get that heavy rhythm, you know you're in Rastaman territory, and then his poetry comes in over the top and just starts to take you to a new place. Street 66. Is a great song. I love it. It's a poem, rap, song about, uh, it places you in an apartment of Rastas that are about to be raided by the police. Love that one. Um, jumping to the, oh, um, bass culture is really great also. That one gets like spacey, takes the reggae rhythm and takes it to Rastaman outer space. Um, the drums, brass, uh, like a very spacey synthesizer happening really just transports you, man. I love that song. And I discovered it from this album. Side two, I want to point out my another favorite of mine, Sonny's Letta. It's a poem about a guy named Sonny 
who's in prison and writes a letter home to mom. And it's what the letter is composed of. Touching, moving, filled with what would you do? Um, reminds me, what was that rap song back? I uh, can't remember now when I need to remember. I can't remember, but it was, now tell me what the F I'm supposed to do. Remember that song? Anybody? I can't remember who did it. I've got it in my playlist, but I like that song. Anyway, that same kind of feeling where you end up in that situation and the person is saying, tell me what the heck I'm supposed to do. So uh, Sonny's Letter, great song. Reggae greats. I want to show you this insert that came with the album. Back then, these are some of the artists that they put together and made these reggae greats uh, singles compilations. Toots and the Maytals, trying to read backwards here. Uh, Lee Scratch Perry, uh, reading backwards. But you can read frontward who they are on there. So this is a great series. And I'm sorry that I never sent away for those t-shirts because that would have been grand as well. So closing out, once again, high recommendation. If you stumble upon any of LKJ's albums, grab it. If you're not familiar with him and you like the Heavy Roots style, grab it. This is good stuff. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Netchuk Arts. Peace.